What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And today we're going to be discussing how to really run more pitch effectively. All right. Now I've been getting a lot of questions about it. I did put out a video um, last year in September when I, you know, originally just uh, I wanted you guys to understand that that was probably going to be the easiest way for you guys to run the ball in Madden 18. And I try to look at stuff uh, based on what other people that are actually um, playing competitively do and try to analyze which way that Madden year is going to go. And it just seemed like over the last couple of years, the pitch plays have been really, really bad because the way that they have the defense attack it is just stupid. And sometimes, uh, in most cases, they just run away from the play. So what I'm going to want you guys to do is I'm going to break it down for you so everybody knows exactly what I'm doing. Then I'm going to jump into one of these solos really quickly and show it to you because I have numerous footage about doing it live. But I just want to make sure that people understand it's more about the mechanical way that you either motion the guy or you don't motion the guy. All right. So that's what we're going to do. Now, for the purposes of this video, these guys right here, he's a boss battle player, uh, Jason Peters, so you would have to have been doing the boss battles um, thing to actually have him. I don't really, you just want to have a decent speed. Like, he's in the 70s. I think, what is this guy in? He's like a 68. I don't really like my uh, tackles really slow. Uh, Jason Peters, you could get faster, um, you know, faster tackles, uh, the tackles on the outside if you wanted to, but these guys are pretty good for what I do, all right? The major part, though, because of the pitch and the way that the guy pulls, is you're going to need fast guards. So Mike Singletary out of position and Christian Okoye out of position, these guys are key factors because when you look at their speed, that's the reasoning behind it. You know, like that's the only reason that it's so effective in Mutt. Uh, when I did the video to show you guys how to do it back in September um, with more pitch, I was doing it in the, in the regular, you know, in regs. And pretty much like Kyle Long is probably one of the faster linemen in the game. But other than that, there's not really a lot of fast guys in the game. So you would have to find and like move around with the regular teams, the fastest guards, and put them in place in order for it to be um, you know, successful if you're, if you're playing reg tournaments or whatever. But Christian Nicoye and Mike Singletary are the best bet for you um, as far as you know, mutt goes, okay? So now that you know that about the guard situation, this is what, this is what else you're going to need. You need some decent tight ends. Now, Rob Gronkowski is one of the top blocking tight ends. I know that Wycheck is also a high blocking tight end because I just go and search by you know, their traits on Mudhead and see who's the best at what. I don't need to, you know, fly, you know, keep looking in the auction house or whatever. I, I already know who the best blockers are and stuff like that. So, um, why check you could probably add there to be a tight end. But with me, I put Bo Jackson sometimes at the tight end position in tight slots, or I leave Gronkowski there. And then my blockers, Juju Smith is one of the best wide receivers that are blockers, Demarius Thomas and Steve Atwater. So Steve Atwater has like a 90 impact block or something like that. He's been on my team since um the out of position promo but his out his um impact blocking is a 90 so you know he's pretty useful inside that obviously you know Demarius Thomas is just a savage but you don't have to power up these players uh I don't want you to waste money doing that the only reason that he was powered up is because I went through it before I got some free cards from him out of packs so I just put him in there it was I, it didn't cost me anything to do it so I just did it okay uh Juju Smith I actually bought but he has a very very high run block as well um, so when you look at both he and um, Demarius Thomas, you understand that these guys are not playing games with the run block action. All right. 81 and 80. That, that's not, you know, that's no slacking. All right. So now that you guys see exactly what's going on, I'm going to show you in a solo, um, you know, just quickly how you, how you actually do it. So that way it's not something the way you're like, yo, Jimai, I, I still don't understand. I'm going to give it to you guys exactly the way that I run it live. And then after that, all you would have to do is just go back to this video and see exactly what you're doing wrong, what's happening. Um, when you play a human opponent, right, what they're starting to do is when you motion the receiver or your blocker, they're starting to shift the line over. I know a lot of you guys are seeing that because what's happening is other people, they're watching other streams where other people are doing that and they're trying to think that that adjustment helps. Whenever you see them do that, you can just, hop, you can just audible back to dive, okay? When they shift their line to one side, you can audible to dive and just run up the middle and usually gain like you're going to gain a minimum of like five to six yards. If you have stick, it'll probably go for six. OK, but that's what you're going to have to understand also with pitch, because the shifting of the line does help stop it, especially if they're still moving when you hike the ball. So what I would suggest is you, you can wing it and do it however you want. You, you can try to test it out and see like, you know, let me do it this way and see what happens. Or you could just simply. Um, you know, audible back to uh, to dive, you know what I'm saying? Just run it right up the middle, 
Uh, you you got to be able to look and assess what your opponent is doing at all times. You can't just do whatever you want. Well, you can because that's usually what people do, and they're very successful in Madden. But I don't really know if that's what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to go to single back. You're going to go to tight slots, right? And I'm going to take um, Rob Gronkowski out and put Bo Jackson in because Bo Jackson just faster. And then Michael Irvin's going to come out, and I'm going to put in Steve Atwater. Everybody else is who I showed you, Juju Smith. Um, and then you got your boy Demarius Thomas right there. We're going to leave LT in for now, all right? We're going to go over to halfback pitch, a.k.a. more pitch. And what we're going to do is we can, you can look and see. You see like how it's green? And even in competitive mode, which they shouldn't be doing it, they show it to you. We're going to go to that side. So we're going to take the outside receiver. We're going to wait till he gets right about there. You know what I'm saying? Like right, be right when he crosses. And then you're going to want to wait. You're going to want to wait before you start holding turbo. You're going to want to look and assess your blockers first. Okay, again, okay, I don't know why I just pressed it like that. I just pressed it like that because um, I don't have it in my audibles. It don't matter. But this is the dive, right? Now, with the dive, you can go either way, okay? But you want to make it seem the same way when you're playing against your opponent. So you should still motion, but the motion, you're going to want them to help in whichever way. That you, see, you see like how he just ran right past the guy? There was a guy he was supposed to block right inside, but that's just the blocking mechanics of Madden. They're going to miss blocks. I'm going to go back to more pitch right now, though. They're going to miss blocks like that, but that's when you're going to have to really, really use your skill and use your stick and just be ready to go. You can look and see on this right side right here that everybody is lining up. Some defenses that your human opponents are going to run will be like that, and it's still red on that side. It doesn't matter. You don't want to run to the side where everybody's at. You want to run away from it. And it looks like that was man coverage as well. And then you just want to follow your blocks. And like you see how easy this looks? It's literally just as easy, which is why people are very, very annoyed when they run into this because it's very, very difficult to stop. It's not a consistent way to stop this. You, you may run into guys that will run that 3-4 um, that with the, uh, the two guys blitzing off the edge, and, you know, that's been successful. I've played – okay, you can flip the play here by put, uh, pressing box and R2 and then just make it go the other way because it just looks like they, they, they're too heavy on that side. I count five on my right side after the center. But that's just because I do numbers because, like, you know, when you actually play football, that's one of the things that you have to do. You have to be able to assess um, what's going on, how many, you know, you count the numbers. You guys, if you're not familiar with that, you look on the field and you see where your center is and you gauge on both sides who's more. Obviously, it's 11 defenders, so you would go towards the side where there's five, six. Sometimes it's like the safety will, like, cheat either side, but for the most part, you can look at it. And I kind of use that as the assessment. Like right now, this is an example. The safety is right in the middle. So it should be five and five on both sides if you count it, right? So you can just pick the side you want. And then you just, like I said, you motion it. If you go to the other side, you would motion Thomas, okay? You want to play around with when you hike the ball. You know what I'm saying? You want to play around with that because specific times, like when, when he gets right next to the other wide receiver when you're going to the left, that's when I usually hike it. You could play around with it. Some people hike hike it a little bit after. I don't care which way you do it. I want you to experiment with it, and I want you to frustrate your opponent. I want your opponent to rage quit. That, that's what my goal is for my viewers. This is, like I said, when I go through these tutorials and I'm really deciphering what's going on, I don't care about other viewers other than ours. Like, G Myers World, this is, this is for us. You can tell people that you see, like, side watching, you know what I'm saying, like, trying to secretly watch and get the tips. Like, bruh, you catch him in the streets, like, yo, bro, what you doing? Like, that's, this is not for them. This is for us. So this is why I want you in Weekend League to come out and run this like a maniac. When I say maniac, bro, I want, listen, I want the dude to rage quit, log back in, and then rage quit against his next opponent. All right, so look, see, you see like how I motion this guy, right? You see like how everybody's on that side? This is what I'm talking about. You would press box, and then you would go to, well, uh, well square on PS4 or uh, X on the, uh, whatever, on the Xbox One, right? And then you would you you would uh, pretty much hot hot route audible however you want to call it back to the dive, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be like that, like you wouldn't just hike the ball. I'll just do it just right away to show you when everybody goes and stacks aside. If a human opponent does that, you're gonna make sure that you run dive, or you can fake like you're actually changing the play. Okay, you could fake like all right, you know, make your guy do his thing where he's where he where, you know where he taps the hip and look like he's switching it to the opposite side. It's so many different ways you could do it. Now, look, right away, you can look on the right side and see. You see what I'm saying? You can look right there and see that that's where, that's where we should be, the right side. Even though it shows red, the guards pulling and everything like that, you're going to have success. Don't worry about what's going on. The way that they're spaced out, 
you want to take out that that um that right end. You know what I'm saying? Because the right end plays on the left side. You want to take them out. So whatever you have to do to make that happen, that just do it. It, do, it doesn't really matter, bro. Just you motion the guy. You can stop him right at that point, and that helps you. And keep in mind, this is a competitive mode solo. So the computer cheats. Okay, I'm I'm facing that way. All right, we're going to press uh, square and R2, switch to play to the other side because we have less people on that side. We're going to motion top. You know, Thomas, that's pretty much how you're going to run it. You're going to run it all the way up and down the field. You're going to make your opponent so mad, bro. Like the dude, like this is what I – just make sure you have your um your settings so you don't have to listen to people raging. you. Um, because, I like, honestly with me, I don't even pay attention to what people say. I don't uh, communicate with anybody online unless I've already known you. I don't, I don't really communicate with you guys like when I'm playing head-to-head uh, -head matches. So I can't hear you and I don't receive messages. And you guys should probably want, if you guys like to do it, you know, do that kind of stuff, that's cool. But I don't, I don't really care about it. It's like, um, it's like outdated and stupid. I don't really feel like getting into an internet thug match um, with a guy that's, you know, probably a baby, bro, he's in diapers and he's arguing around, bro. So like, I, I don't really want to entertain that. So that's pretty much what you really need to do and what you have to understand about running more pitch, all right? Other than that, there's really nothing else that I need to um, explain in this video. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you're finding your daily eggs and things like that. And that those are the things that you really need to focus on, okay? You really need to focus on where the eggs are, what's going on with that, uh, making as much coin as you can possibly out of this promo, which I have been releasing daily videos to try to help you do just that. Um, if there's any questions about anything that's going on, um, simply do exactly what I showed you in the previous videos. Because what's happening now is it's pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much going to be either a gold, a gold or a silver token. And um, after the gold or silver token, you're going to look through the store and you're going to find the new solos that are available or, you know, at that time. So it's not, it's not rocket science. And I expect you guys at this point to be able to do it. So I won't be putting out any more. Um, showing you guys, you know, on a daily, we're going to talk about other things like this. Like, you guys have been asking about more pitch. You go, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, they're just going to let them run it for six? They're just going to let them run it for six, though. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to let them kick the ball, let them chew clock, right? And then we're going to try to run more pitch one more time. Because another thing you guys have been telling me is that, bro, competitive mode is so hard, g -Mai, I can't beat it. Come on, bro. Listen, it's EA Sports. It's in the game. You can do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? These modes don't really mean anything, especially when it comes to the run game. So what we're going to try to do right now is run more pitch uh, one more time before we get off and uh, see, you know, exactly what you need to do just so we're on the same page with it. Everything has been explained thoroughly to you. You understand when you first come out, you're assessing the sides. So on the right side, I see five. I'm going to flip it because the D, um, the D tackle is right in the middle. So I'm going to flip the play. And I like the way that side of that five looks. So we're going to go that way. Hike the ball. Let's see how they block. Wait, hold on with the turbo. And we out. And then we're out. Okay? So this is what... How is this ref so fast? This dude on steroids, bro. How did I ref so fast, though? All right? So that's pretty much what I'm going to want you guys to be doing. All right? If you have any questions about it, don't hesitate to ask. If you need to know anything else about what's going on, don't hesitate to ask. All right? Just leave it in the comment section. Uh, we have very, very good people around here that's going to get back to you and, um, you know, they answer your questions and help you out as best as possible, all right? Thank you guys for watching. Let's go with a video view goal of 30,000. Get everybody out there. You know what I'm saying? Let, let's start running more pitch, and we'll see you guys and girls next time. One love.